Gemini Risings for September definitely a focus on whether it's worth it to take risks or to play it safe and analyzing whether you should trust in the other people that are involved in this risk. If you're excited to dive into what the astrology, what the tarot, and what the oracle deck cards have to say about you and your rising sign for this month, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. Before we get started, this video is brought to you by BetterHelp, an online counseling service connecting you with board certified licensed state therapists in under 24 hours. To get started, you can head to the link on the screen or below, fill out a quick survey, and get matched with your ideal counselor in under one day. You can receive licensed counseling through your phone, tablet, mobile device over means such as text, video chat, or phone call. BetterHelp is not a crisis hotline, but it does hold group in our sessions where you can meet with others in group sessions such as relationships or anxiety management altogether. BetterHelp costs $65 a week, though financial aid plans are available for those who qualify and is available worldwide. Wide. To get started, head to the link on screen or in the description to visit the BetterHelp website and take a quick survey to exactly examine your needs, what you are looking for, who would best match up with that, and then in under 24 hours you can be confirmed with your ideal therapist and get things started that way. Hi, I'm Marin. I am a professional astrologer, current philosophy student, and um... I'm just those two things today. I combine traditional Hellenistic astrological techniques with modern psychological counseling dynamics in order to provide grounded guidance. So on the first, Venus in your Cancer second house is opposing Saturn in your Capricorn eighth house. This is definitely a decision of your own money and what other people are expecting with that in financial situations. Deciding whether their demands or the situation is worth and is negotiable with what you want to hold dear and value in your values. On the second, there's a full moon in your Pisces 10th house. I have a full video on this linked down below, but this is a culmination of things in your career world, a letting go or a celebration in your really public image and external related life. On the third, Venus in your Cancer second house is squaring Mars in your Aries 11th house. Again, your finances are being challenged by some drama or some friction with groups and friends, and this interconnection between money and other people is kind of throughout this month because then on the ninth, Mars is stationing retrograde in your Aries 11th house. Definitely rethinking how you are managing relationships with larger groups and friends and the cords that might need to be cut. There's a full video on this linked down below if you want to check that out, but overall it is a time of big rethinking about socializing in your life. On the 9th through the 18th, the Sun in Virgo is trining Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn in your Capricorn 8th house, so home and family is what's being lit up for the first part of this month, and it is in cooperation with long-term investments and goals, so that maybe family money is that which is really on board and holding it together for this month. But then on the 11th, the Sun in Virgo is opposing Neptune and Pisces in your 10th house, so that might lead to some confusion between home and family and your career, that there's some sort of disclarity or illusionment around that. On the 15th, Venus in your Leo 3rd house is squaring Uranus in your Taurus 12th house. So sudden psychological breakdown could lead to um, sudden acts of um, buying things in your nearby neighborhood? That sounds weird, but like a certain breakdown could lead you to suddenly like buy something around your neighborhood. Um, I would just be careful around making brash aesthetic decisions in your, your nearby surroundings the middle of the month. On the 17th, there's a new moon in your Virgo fourth house, a new beginning that I have a full video on linked down below around home, family, and property in your life. New beginning around the roots and the foundations of your world. On the 17th through the 23rd as well, Mercury in your Libra fifth house is squaring Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in your Capricorn eighth house. There's a definitive communication that you're trying to have with a child or with a romantic partner or about something creative that is being kind of, um, for it's there's some friction with that and the finances involved you're deciding whether to take the risk um based on the money and the connections that it will be investing with other people and deciding whether especially with creative projects or child or romantic related endeavors whether it's worth it to trust these uh, other parties that are engaged 
On the 24th, Mercury in your Libra fifth house is then opposing Mars in your Aries 11th house. So that this communication around lighthearted creative matters is being troubled by the social expectations and the rethinking of what you want to engage in socially. There is this definitive dynamic between going after the creative project or the lighthearted dream and what that means entanglement with others will be. On the 26th, Mars in your Aries 11th house is squaring Saturn in your Capricorn 8th house because now by the end of the month there is definitive friction like actual there's things going on between groups and friends and people you're connected to and the finances involved that there, it, it is a very like other centered risk reward trust or not to trust month um this is friction filled for everyone it's not just you this is just the area of life for you because then on the 29th saturn is stationing direct in your capricorn eighth house so the past few years and especially few months of revising the expectations and precedence of sharing resources with others is moving forward and finalizing that chapter that this is the decision being made, this is what is grounded down, and no more all over the place bullshit. So if you have any questions or any thoughts around what's coming up for you this month, coming up, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your stories, your concerns, all that stuff, let me know below. And now with the astrology out of the way, let's move on to the tarot cards to see what tarot card's coming up. Now let's pull a Dark Angels tarot card to see what comes up. We have the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups inherently is a card of illusion, and being upright, it is about playing into an illusion or not realizing that we are disillusioned. So uh, this can indicate that you're playing into something that you know necessarily isn't true and that you need to be careful of it, and I would say to play it safe and maybe not take the risk now that this has come up, whether that means risking letting other people be in control or risking the project altogether. Finally, let's pull a Witch's Wisdom card and see what is coming up from the Oracle cards. We have Letha, Intensification. In all that you do and all that is done, bringer of life and midsummer sun intensifies and gives you strength to claim your power at any length. The magic is worked with harm to none, so mote it be that it is done. So this is illumination and this is lighting something up like goals or plans so that I think that a long-term goal is being lit up and there's some changes that are being asked of you to be made around what those plans would entail for connections to others and trusting certain people and letting go of others as a direct reflection of that illumination. If you enjoyed this and you would like to dive deeper into your chart, my link for readings is below. I would love to read for you if you are interested in personal application of these things. And as well, if you're interested in learning the language of the cosmos and diving deep into this with the rationale and the grounded step-by-step -step of the why, the what, and the how this all works, check out my link for the Astrology Academy below. This is hours of course that I've put together over the past few months to really take you from interest and astrology enthusiast into astrology foundational grounded not expert because even I wouldn't call myself an expert it's a lifelong study but someone who is confident is centered and is able to read charts with ease and with ability um, in trusting their own astrological knowledge so if you're interested in taking a deep dive into all the components of astrology the academy link is down below otherwise like subscribe do all the things and let me know any thoughts you have about this September sending so much love and I will see you in the next one there is one